Welcome to the Rumble Rocket Teams. Welcome back to the Yog, dog. The Yog, dog. All right, turn five or week six, actually. Week six. I thought it was week five. Shit. Damn. Are you? How are you gonna spend your last turn before the apocalypse? I am going to spend my last turn at a fancy ball once again. At a fancy this ball. This time, I hope to earn more charm, though. Yeah. Then you have to use the Got analog. It. Yeah. Uh, palace. Yes. A ten, ten ball. Two charm off in this in the day. A, the king approaches you. Can Look. confide in. It's Queen and I. Aren't exactly active in the bedroom. <laughs> Holy crap. He blushes a little. Do you have any advice on how I could romance the queen, so to speak? Teach the king your ways. <laughs> are, you, are you gonna teach this man how to s I have ten charm, brah. I'm gonna go for it. This grizzly lumberjack of a man is going to tell the king how to get his biz nasty on. <laughs> yeah. Been, I think he's the perfect man for the job. Spent hours drawing diagrams. At the end of it, he's just as charming as you are. A large sack of coins. Re wealth. Wow. Well. It's pretty great. Oh shit, the last choice of the day. Someone messaged me on my phone, should turn that off. Yeah. Whoa, baby. Last turn. Oh shit. Okay. I am going to. Blood Moon tonight at 2.08 a.m. to 2 three thirty something it doesn't oh, is matter that, is that tonight yeah i read about that on facebook so you people you time travelers who'd like to find moons come back to this day yeah absolutely um i think i'm gonna spend the last day oh jeez, the last day it's a week but yeah the last day a week. last decision last decision um Spend it pickpocketing people. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't want to do that. I'm gonna bartend? do. A, I could do a bit of bartending. Get, get my charm up. Get drunk. I would also get my charm up. Yeah. And perhaps physique. I'm gonna do it. Spend the entire week getting wasted. Two charm, one physique. The improv two drinking contest is held. Oh shit! I'm You're gonna intern. be so so drunk for the apocalypse. Hammered for the apocalypse. You down pint after pint, drinking as if your life depended on it. After you drink your frenzy, you take a quick look around, and notice you're the only one conscious. Yeah! You clumsily take the cash prize and make your way home. You are in too well. <laughs> I drank off my uh, my what I lost in court. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, here's the. Backflips. It's you can choose your role now. Take a good look at your stats. Um, what's my intelligence? Eight. Intelligence is eight. Yeah. Charm is. I was hoping to be. Um, I was trying to, like, groom myself to be the leader. To be the leader, yeah. I don't feel like I wanna. Ah, it tells you. Oh, does it? Unless that's yours. No, those are my stats. Oh. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> that is weird. Hmm. Uh, I guess compared to the other player. Yeah. Huh. Plus mine. But we have about equal and you haven't done any mine stuff, so I would suppose that I probably shouldn't be later. <laughs> I'm a strong buff man. Uh, you got seven physique. Hmm. Doctor? A doctor? Could, I don't know, maybe. I don't know what the doctor needs, or the smelter, or the tailor, or any of this stuff. I imagine the smelter needs, like, physique. Um, the tailor probably needs a lot of finesse. The looter probably needs, like, charm and finesse. I'm just gonna tailor. You gonna be the tailor? I'm gonna be the tailor. Alright, cool. To One. weave and mend clothing for the survivors to keep warm. New set of clothes for every survivor. Oh, wow. It increases and everybody is pretty excited for their new socks, scarves, hats, etc. You did a good job. Put the survivor effort a lot. Dude, cool. Yeah. Now we wait for our exclusively painful deaths. Yep. All right. Let's see. I've got 13 charm. So, but I'm not very smart, so I probably shouldn't be the leader. Um, I've got a lot of finesse, a decent amount of physique, a lot of finesse and physique, and a lot of charm. Man. Um, probably go for the looter or... <laughs> Yeah. The person who is making the survival effort worse. Well, bad, man. I mean, I guess. 
Uh, Unless you're looting for for the town. Yeah, I, I don't exactly know what that entails. I don't know if that means like I'm venturing out to find things you or if steal I'm stealing. You did steal a lot, and you did play with money a lot. I did. And you have a lot of money to begin with. I do have a ton of money, actually. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to go for the looter, see what that's about. You break into abandoned buildings and hoard together everything for yourself. You gain three wealth. You gain another three wealth. This hurts the survival effort. That's what I said. So I'm a rich bastard. I, I kind of want to see what that, that entails for me. Maybe we might not have expected where we want to. But in the end... Let's see. The first one should be you. We were defeated, we were defeated again. Let's try to put our home to right. Yep, same as before. That's the only part okay. of the plan. Alright, well, what is my death? How do I die? How does everything end? Let's see. Maybe I'm not... Maybe I'm not... Maybe I don't die. Maybe, maybe I'm not. crushed by... Attempt to distract yourself from the zest and falling around you. You try meditation. Mmm. It's time sitting in one spot, trying to cross to another plane of existence. That's really sad. Yeah. After use of attempts and self-sacrifice, you finally manage to cross over to the astral realm. What? After years of attempts. Kind of find out the astral realm is exactly like the normal world, except everyone's eyes are slightly smaller. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Everything is just as wrecked and broken as it is over there. Wow. You don't know how to get back home. Is that so I'm it? in a tiny eye world now? Yeah, that's it. You escape the ruined town with giant bags of coins, jewels, and other valuable trinkets. Oh, shameless. You move to a new city, living a life of luxury and elegance. What? Unfortunately, the new city you move to has their own horrible evil, the Bieg. The Bieg? <laughs> the Bieg sweeps through the city, tearing apart everything you know. This time, when you go rummaging through the debris for valuables, you encounter a group of people doing the same. Uh -oh. You get into a knife fight with one of them, which results in you bleeding out on a pile of rubble. Shit. Wow. I mean, at least I'm alive this time. <laughs> I guess I kind of got a last hurrah in another town, but still, I don't feel good about it. I just it. sat there alone for years until I was in a different universe that was exactly the same. Yeah? Making you depressed. <laughs> yeah. Man, I don't know what the right way is. I don't know if there is a right way. <laughs> this may be the game of loss. It may be. And we will find out next time on Rebel Rocketeers. I guess so. I guess so. Catch you next time. Signing out. CDP and Kaze.